Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to create an application using Qt to plot data coming over TCP. So let's get into it. In part one of the series, we will learn how to use Q custom plot in Qt to plot our data. Okay, so let's start by creating a new project. We are going to create a Q widget application. Okay, and I'm going to name it Network Plot. Uh, you can save it wherever you want it. Okay, the build system I'm keeping it QMake. Then for the class name also, I'm going to name it Network Plot. Okay, next, select tickets. Okay, so right now I'm not adding the version control. If you want, then you can add it. I am gonna add it later. Okay, mesh it up, and there you go. So once everything is loaded, build the project once to see if everything is working fine or not. Okay, so as you can see, we have a blank window over here. now just add a simple label over here okay we are going to increase the font size to 20 yeah that looks fine. Okay, great. Save it, and now we will it. Okay, so as you can see, this is working fine. Now, in order to set up the project, what I usually like to do is keep the source and uh, include files separately. So now we'll head back to the uh, browser. Okay, so create two folders first will be source another one will be include okay great so you can create a third folder for ui also if you have uh, if you're planning to have like multiple ui but uh, as of now i'll just keep it like this only now just shift your main cpp files into the source folder network plot into the include folder yeah that's it now once you're back into the cute creator you head to the project file okay so in the project file first you need to mention the include path okay next you need to give your v path Also, give the correct path in source as well as in your header file. Okay. Yeah. You can see over here also that your source and header files are automatically updated. Right. So now if you build the program again, there you go. So it's building properly. Okay. So now what we need to do is uh, add our custom plot in it. So for that, we'll head to queue custom plot. Make sure you have saved everything in Git, right? So we are heading to the network plot, right? First, you init the Git repository over there. Now add everything. Commit all the changes that I've done so far. Okay. 
okay now once that is done head to the queue custom plot okay so this is a great library which will help us you know to plot all the different types of functions and the different type of graphs that you can think of so it's fairly very simple to use okay so go to download right and over here you can see uh, these zip files that are there so just download any one of them okay save it and there you go now once you open the zip file so over here you can see this .h and .cpp file right so only these two files will be using as of now so what you need to do is uh, copy this .cpp file in your source folder and .h file in your include folder okay great so now when you head back to Qt creator the first thing that you need to do is add your source and include files in the project itself so for that what you need to do is uh, add existing files right go to source and add the q custom plot okay ignore the warning from the git and do the same for the header file and there you go as you can see uh, in the source and header uh, path already these files are added automatically right but uh, in order to compile this code what you need to do is add print supports over here else you'll be getting uh, an error if you build it directly without adding this print support so now just to test if the code is working fine or not yeah there you go okay the next step is to actually uh, plot something right so first we need to add our plot so for that select widget okay increase the size accordingly like or whatever suits your application right click on it and go to promote to right so uh, this is something that I had added earlier but if you're doing it for the first time right you need to add uh, promoted class name so remember it should be same as your header file so you're gonna name it Q custom plot right and you can see automatically the header file same okay so if i add it since i already have one so i'm just gonna select this one and promote okay so now uh, our widget is promoted but you also need to change its uh, name so i'm gonna name it custom plot great now just save the file and go to network plot.cpp just compile it once yeah so now you can see the plot is also there but uh, right now we cannot actually interact with it or you know play around with it so now let's start by actually adding uh, a graph in it so first We're going to add graph, right? Now, okay. Now in the graph zero that we just created, I'm gonna first uh, set the scatter style, okay? and let's set it to circle 
Oke. Okay. Similarly, what I'm going to do in the same graph, I'm going to set the line style. Uh, this is I'm going to set to simple line. Okay. Set X and Y label. Now you can set the range also, like for X axis, right? Uh, so this takes uh, two inputs, right? So I'm going to give the range from minus 6,200. range thousand to eight thousand okay now what I want to actually do is you know, uh, make this custom plot interactive so for that we can add custom plot set to interactions Okay, now there's uh, different interactions that you can actually uh, include in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three types of interactions. So first will be, uh, you know, the range trap. Okay. Second one will be a range zoom. The third will be, uh, you know, to select the portables. Okay. So what happens when you build this particular code is, oops, I just forgot to add zero here. Okay. So now, as you can see, we can move around this, you know, use this scroll button to actually go anywhere in the plot, right? Okay. So now that's done. Let's uh, actually plot something, you know, just for uh, testing, okay, if it's working fine or not. So I'm going to create a Q vector over here. double right so before adding that in your header file just include q vector okay quit Okay, so right now I've just given them some random values. Okay. And the graph uh, zero only, we need to set the data. X comma Y, right?
okay uh what you can do is actually add this uh rescale right so what it will do is it will rescale according to the new values that you are entering now we need to replot this and update it okay you can easily see so everything is uh, plotted perfectly right so one with four only yeah so there you go and this is a very basic way to actually uh, plotting it using q custom plot the next part we are going to add different push buttons and only when those buttons are actually pushed uh, we can actually see this data coming in and we similarly we'll just add a clear button as well hey everyone thank you so much for watching the video hope you like it make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel also check out my other videos on the channel and let me know in the comments down below what other videos i should make